guys, this is Rye123, and first of all, I'm just going to real quick show you how to make it so that instead of killing the player, you can just teleport them. So what you're going to want to do is click on your red spawn, because we I haven't set up the blue one yet in the, um, in the script, in the button, and just name it spawn location red, so that it has a different... Um, sorry about that plane so that it has a different name from the rest of the things and all you're going to do is Instead of killing them. You're just going to say character dot. What was it move to? Game dot workspace dot spawn location red dot position and that should work Instead of killing them. Let me just give it a go Yep, see, there you go. Change teams, move to the location. And it's the same thing for the blue. You're just going to name this one spawn location blue, and you are going to say move to spawn location's blue position, uh, of course. So that script will be in the description, and so will this next one. So your, um, what you're going to want to do is every um, when a player enters the game, you're going to want them to be able to see this GUI, obviously, so they can pick their team. But you don't want it popping up every single time they spawn, because what you could do is you could just have this disappear once they click a button, but that won't work because every single time they spawn, they'll be able to pick their team and change teams and stuff, which you can change teams, but... I think that would be kind of lame in the middle of the game if your team's losing to just swap. So I'm going to show you how to make it so that it only appears when a player spawns. And to do that, we are going to need a workspace script. So click on workspace and just add a normal script. And for this one, to start out, we are going to say, well, first of all, before we do that, Take the GUI, where is it? Here it is. Take the screen GUI and paste it inside of that script. And let's just name this script so that we can identify it GUI giver. So we're going to say so when a player enters the game, we're going to want to know. So we're going to say, um, what is it like? Function on player added player okay there you go so that'll give us our variable okay then the next thing you're gonna want to do is come down here and we're going to do our usual statement thing to set up our function so we're going to say game dot players I think yeah dot child no it's dot child added um semicolon connect and it's like on player added that should work i'm not sure we can come back and fix it if it doesn't and inside of here you're going to i mean not inside of here up above you're going to say GUI equals script dot um, what is it screen GUI semicolon clone which will basically come in the script and clone the screen GUI hopefully <laughs> then next you're going to want to come into the function and you're going to want to say so this basically says when a new player is added to the game, it'll run this function. So we're going to say um, new GUI equals GUI clone. So we're cloning the clone. And then we're going to say new GUI dot parent equals um, player dot, what is it, dot player GUI. And so that will put it inside the player. Then it will end. Then, one more thing. 
that will place it inside of the player but then we still want it when they click on it for it to go away so inside of here um, after they get moved or killed or whatever you're going to say um, script dot parent dot parent semicolon remove and that will remove the GUI from the player so let's go ahead and test this and when we spawn we get the GUI and when we switch to red it goes away so that's it for this tutorial um thank you guys for watching um this was a pretty fun tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed um be sure to subscribe for some more tutorials I need to log in be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and be sure to leave a comment of a suggestion or a sh like help you need for your game um, and next time as you can see here we'll be working on morphs um, I don't have this morph set up yet though so <laughs> um, that's why I'm just white so um, thanks for watching guys be sure to stay tuned for the next tutorial which will hopefully come out tomorrow I can't make any promises though because I'm kind of busy tomorrow, but um, I'll be sure to have one out for you soon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.